Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? Hope you're doing great. I haven't made a video for a while, so I started to bring you guys a whole new video. So before I start the video, I just want to say that we have a lot of Souls Guardians the community. We have a whole new reboot feature that allows you to bring back your zombie teammates into the game. And when I say zombies, I mean dead teammates. We have a new spectator discount, Death Face Face 2 breakdown, which is really insane. And new skydiving effects and cars are finally out on the creative mode. But before we get into the video, the Flex Pass giveaway for the month August will be delayed a little bit and will be announced on September 5th. So if you guys haven't entered it yet, here's your chance. We'll be giving away a free flex pass to one like subscriber. So make sure you guys subscribe and turn on notifications. And now let's get into the video. One last thing I want to say before I get into the video is that I apologize for not posting a single video over two weeks. I'm not even streaming daily as I used to, but I promise we'll be back. And from now on, I'll be posting a new video every Sunday, if not every Saturday. Thank you guys so much for the support and let's get into the video. I'm the best content creator. I'm the number one world's best CD player. The new cars are finally out in the creative mode after a long time and expectations that it would come with a new season. But it didn't and now we finally know why it wasn't released with a new season. The new cars are coming to the creative mode this Thursday and turns out that the reason they didn't add it at first was because there were some issues causing the cars not to work properly. And now they finally fixed it. Both of the two cars, the buggy and the affordable, are coming to creative mode this Thursday. And I'm really happy that they finally added the cars into creative mode. If you guys have watched my last video, you know that I talked about building the biggest sky base right ever which i actually did if you guys want to find out how big my sky base race actually is stay tuned till the end of this video now let's talk about this insane idea and um, for some people awesome idea the new reboot if you guys don't know what this is then i don't blame you because this is a rarely used feature and there are just a few games that actually use this reboot system the reboot system allows you to bring back your dead teammates into the game by using special dog or chess of your teammates and depending on how cd wants to make this new reboot they will most likely be very similar to the Fortnite ones, which I really don't hope because this takes the creativity of the game. I personally don't even think it's a great idea, but who knows? It might be fun. For now, this is all we have about this new feature. If you get more news, I will let you guys know. We have a new spectators feature. This feature allows you to see the amount of people that are watching your game while playing. We didn't get any release date for this new feature, but it was confirmed by one of the devs that it's coming very soon. We also have a whole new diving effects. This is basically custom effects that you get when jumping out of the plane, which is really awesome, and I'm actually looking forward to see this. And in my last stream, I actually spotted a glitch that happened to me while jumping out of the plane, which gave me special effects after I jumped off the plane, which is really crazy. Anyways, here's a clip of that. Wait, what the hell? Wait, do you guys see this? Guys, do you guys see this? There was effects. Oh my god, do you guys see that? Guys, do you guys see that? There was effects when I was landing. Oh my god. Dude, we actually, we actually have effects coming on the game. You guys see that? There were literally effects in the game, man. Like, oh my god. That was, that was dope, man. On August 22, we had a dev face-to-face, -face, which was really good. I actually really liked the idea of the players being able to talk directly to the devs. And there were a bunch of people asking crazy questions. Some were really good questions. Some were like, oh my god, what kind of question is this? But the worst part that I found personally was the worst was that, was that some of the devs were actually trolling. And when I say trolling, I mean trolling. Like a person asked, when are you going to add the quarantine system in the pack? If you guys don't know what, what quarantine means, it's basically after opening a certain amount of packs, you will get a guarantee item from that pack, which is 100% not in the game. And as you guys might have guessed it, the answer from the dev was, we already have a guarantee system. Why the fuck you lying? We had a bunch of information from the dev face to face. One of them is the big boss that will be coming at the end of the season, which will destroy Lion Park, according to one of the devs from dev face to face. So according to him, there will be a big boss, which is behind the conspiracies of everything that happened so far in the game. So you can basically call this the end game. We're in the end game now. After season 8, so in season 9, we have a whole new story arc. Depending on how it's gonna turn out, there might not even be a new story, which I really hope not. But in either way, this was it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Until then, take care and tune in tomorrow for the stream. <laughs>
with the, 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 the